Hey guys, Zombie here, and today I want to talk to you about, you know the whole ad, the ad strike crisis going on on YouTube right now, where all the advertisers are pulling out because um, someone's ad appeared on an offensive video and they did not like that. So basically what this is, is exactly that. All of the advertisers start pulling out of YouTube, all of them. They're like, nope, we don't want our stuff displayed anywhere. Um, except for Kmart. I've seen several Kmart ads because they're apparently just awesome and still support the, pro the platform. And they understand that they need to make money. Duh, right? What a concept. Money. But yeah, because of um, just a video, an uh, offensive video, I don't know what the content of it was, the context of the video was, but I can look that up uh, later or you can find out. Um, I think it was Coca-Cola or something. One of the videos, an advertisement appeared before an offensive video, and they just didn't like that the filter got searched down to that. But what they don't realize is that this is a very complex freaking system. Because there are billions of videos out on YouTube. I mean, there are millions of people with accounts. Tens of millions of people. Hundreds of millions of people with accounts for YouTube. And it's just ridiculous because all those people upload. Or at least a grand majority of those people upload videos on a regular basis. And there are a lot of videos and a lot of categories and a lot of ways you can type keywords into the keyword box. So all someone that an offensive video has to do is mislabel their content and then like do different kinds of keywords and then of course those video those advertisements will still make their way to there because of those false um the false I can't find the word. You know what I'm saying. Because of the false um labeling. Yes, labeling. Um, it's just ridiculous though because they do, they don't seem to take into the uh, into context the grand scale of this. They should be happy that it only appeared on that video and not all of these videos, because there's a lot of videos that they wouldn't want their stuff on, but a lot of people get flagged and they can't have advertising on the channels because of offensive content. It, sure, there's a few that might slip through the cracks because of just bad labeling but that's really a minor number it's a very minute number compared to what they are saving themselves from already and either way money is money and money talks and bullshit walks that's an old saying these people are not going to stay gone i mean the you this whole crisis about youtube ending no it's a month maybe two months and everything will be back to normal it's always like that no matter what, the advertisers will come back, everything will just continue as it is now, and in a few months we'll have another crisis of who knows what. Just a couple months ago, everyone was saying, oh no, YouTube is over, the unsubscribe glitch, blah. People had like negative 100,000 subscribes, it's like, what the heck? But now it's forgiven, forgotten in history, who cares? Because it's already done and they gave everybody back their subscribers and they fixed it. Or at least they rolled back the update that was failed. Because probably some newbie on the team broke broke it. Like when I worked in a game company before, one of their sayings was, "You didn't really work for them yet until you broke the game one time on on release of a patch." And they patched a lot, so that explains it. But yeah, they're like, "Oh yeah, you're one of us now. You broke it," and it's kind of like that. What at one point or another, someone's gonna mess up, and things like that happen. But that's that's a separate issue. The point of this one is the advertisers are not going to stay gone. There's no way they will. Right now they're just having a pissy fit. Like they're all being pissy at this and then they're just um, they're just all angry. They're just staying away because they're like, oh, we're going to show them. Mm. But no, they want their money and they can earn a lot more money from YouTube and advertisement like this would direct... You just click on the on the video and it takes you to their website. That earns them so much more than a TV advertisement, than a magazine advertisement, than a radio advertisement. This is the most efficient way for them to advertise and make a crap ton of money. And they can't do this. Uh, they can't advertise like this on almost any other platform at all. This is how they make their money and a vast majority of it. They're only going to do this for a very short amount of time to scare. Google and YouTube they're only gonna they just want to scare them 
into trying to make changes that are pretty much impossible anyways. All that's going to happen is that a few channels are probably going to get banned, like deleted. Some content's going to be deleted. They're going to modify the algorithm a little bit and say, oh, we fixed it. And then everyone's going to come back. But why is everyone freaking out so much? I mean, me, I only make about three bucks a month on this. It really hasn't affected me at all because my AdSense amount really hasn't changed that much. I lost, what, three bucks? That's the price of a burger? Or getting a happy meal for my kid? I don't know how much happy meals cost nowadays, actually. I think they're more like seven bucks. So it's not much. It, it helps. Sure, it helps, but it's not a necessity for me at this point. So it really didn't matter to me, of course. There are people who make their living on this, but they will be able to continue doing so because they don't really have to worry as long as they've invested their money properly and have saved up and didn't just go spend what they had at the time. If they are someone that makes enough to live on this, then they probably know how to use that money. And there's nothing really to worry about on this. I mean, it's just clear as day to me that this is only a temporary issue. This crisis is going to roll over. They all do. YouTube is not going to end, just like Twitter is not going to end. MySpace technically ended. I think it's still a thing, but who cares? Facebook's not going to end. Everyone kept on spreading rumors about Facebook going to charge and all that to keep using the service that was supposed to have already happened. No. Nothing like that happens for major social media sites that have a working method and advertisers that have a working method to make crap tons of money are going to follow suit. They're not going to abandon. They're not going to bail. They're going to come back because this is how they make money and that's what they want. All they're doing is saying, oh, we're going to hold back for a couple months and they're going to lose so much money. Like Google cares. Google has their hands in so many areas of the world, they don't care. This is just one small aspect. If it hurt them, they could just get rid of it and they'd probably be fine. They'd probably be perfectly fine without even having YouTube anymore. They don't want to do that. but they're, So they're just going to keep it going like normal. They haven't changed anything. No terms have changed. Nothing has changed on it. Have you noticed that? YouTube itself has not modified anything for the creators or the viewers. It's all stayed the same because they already know this is temporary and it's just going to blow over. They're just like, okay. Because nothing really is going to get affected at all by this. And it's really apparent because the only ones that are really talking about anything are the advertisers. Just throwing their fit. I just wanted to share my view on this. I hope you guys... Um, share a similar view of me on this. I'm sure some people do rely on this to make some money. Um, I'm not one of those people. I do this because I love to do it. And anybody that's making money on this at this point is only doing it because they love to do it. You don't do YouTube and do a video every single day just because you want to make money. It's a lot of work to get very little return. You do it because you love to do it. It's something that you just get joy out of. So this platform is far from over because the people at Google also have that similar mindset of do it because you love it. They're just going to wait it out, pretty much. Okay, I hope you guys have a similar mindset. Talk to me in the comments below about what you think about this issue. Uh, it's a pretty hot topic right now, I guess. I don't know. Everyone seems to be freaked out about it for the past, what, two weeks or something? Anyways, talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic Easter. Have a good one.